Hi everybody and welcome to Traditional Black Potter. Today we're going to spend a few minutes talking about swabbing between shots. So shooting black powder really follows the warp and it can do it fairly quickly. If you've shot a muzzle loader, you know that you know, within a few shots you can actually start feeling a difference when you're ramming down a ball. And for that reason, I tend to want to swab the bore in between shots just to keep the bore consistent and also to help in accuracy. If I swap between shots, then I'm starting out every shot with the same bore condition and it prevents me from having to deal with, you know, the cake down uh, fouling that uh, can uh, get created in the bore through prolonged shooting. Now, what this you probably wouldn't want to do, and obviously you wouldn't want to do it if you're actually hunting. I mean, if you're hunting, you're only going to get a few shots uh, if you're lucky that day. And if you have to do a follow-up shot, you're, you're certainly not going to start worrying about swapping the bore between shots uh, to get your second shot. You're just going to do it as quickly as possible and try to get a second shot off if needed. Uh, what I'm talking about is if you're actually out there uh, target shooting or shooting with some friends or maybe you're at some kind of a club meet where you're going to take you know, a lot of shots that particular day, not just one or two. So for me, what I like to do is um, I'll use these uh, pro shot uh, patches and actually they're, they're cleaning patches and these partic this particular pack is good from 45 to 58 cal and you've got a, a count of 250 and you can get more or less or you can actually cut your own if you want to. I just, I just find these to be reasonably priced and I don't have to do any cutting and, and they last me a long time. So I wind up using these to clean the, uh, the bore in between shots but obviously I don't run it dry. You can actually do this, you know, several ways. I know some guys that uh, will actually use a, a spit wad, you know, they put one of these patches, put it in their mouth, and then take it out and swab it down the bore. And that's fine, but, you know, you start doing that, you know, 25, 30 times uh, in a day, and, and it gets old pretty quick. So what I do is actually use a little container like this, you know, and um, inside of it, I have some of those patches and instead of using water or, um, or putting in your mouth and using spit, I actually start using, um, start using some rubbing alcohol and the reason I use alcohol is because it evaporates pretty quick and actually lets you, uh, you know, swab the bore, let the fluid evaporate very quickly and then you can move on to your next shot. As opposed to maybe using uh, water when we have to run a dry patch or maybe wait until it dries off. Using alcohol is kind of a, a nice little advantage of not having to do anything extra. Just swab it, leave it alone for uh, you know a few seconds and it'll uh, dry up and you move on to your next shot. So actually put some of the patches inside here and then I'll just uh, put some alcohol down here. But I don't put too much so it's actually dripping. You want it to be moist, right? where actually you can see that your thumb is wet, my thumb is wet, but I don't want it dripping off so it creates a, a lot of excessive moisture. Just, just moist enough so when it goes down the barrel it can actually pick up all the soot that's built in there and uh, just leave a thin coating and then air dries. So I've been using this system for about a year. I haven't had any problems with misfires due to the bore being wet and if you take one of these uh, pads and actually just uh, wipe it on the outside of the barrel you can get an idea of how fast that evaporates and it's fairly quick you don't you don't have to wait too long and it keeps me from doing the old spit patch you know for 20 30 times depending on how much time or how many times you're shooting that day and it's a small container doesn't weigh anything it's easy to carry especially if you're on the range or something like that and uh, makes it a, makes the day a lot easier and it actually does a really good job of uh, cleaning the fouling. I, if you've seen uh, one of the other videos I put out when, I, when I'm shooting the uh, Lyman uh, GPR, um, I actually do uh, show a patch over there and you can see how much uh, fouling you get out of it just from one shot. So for me it really works out well to use one of these in between shots. It's not a big deal and keeps the board clean and uh, it actually helps out with uh, with accuracy so it's uh, kind of a win all around it's not a big deal to use and simple stuff to get you don't need anything special so I thought I'd share this tip with you and hopefully it helps and I'll talk to you later